Hello and welcome along to The Races TV. Shortly we'll have a chat to Michelle Lavaz, who is the ambassador for the South Australian Jockeys Trust on their National Jockeys Trust Day coming up at Morpherville on Saturday, October 4. But firstly, let's have a look at the diary for racing coming up this week in South Australia. Saturday, good program on the parks at Morfordville. On Sunday, it's Gawler Cup Day. Should be a terrific day there. And next Wednesday, we go racing in the southeast at Mount Gambier. Well, as we know, the uh, South Australian Jockey Club's National Jockeys Trust Day comes up on Saturday week at Morfordville, October 4, and the ambassador for the South Australian National Jockeys Trust Division this year is Michelle Lavaz. Michelle, nice to catch up with you. Um, firstly, do you want to just tell us about your story once again? Uh, in 92, I had a um, race fall down at Panola, down the southeast. Um, I had horses running on, in front of me when my horse clipped their heels and went down. Unfortunately, um, I broke my back, which has now left me paralysed, um, and was in rehab for just under 12 months, so it was a long process to get back into living again after, so yeah, it was pretty devastating. Yeah, absolutely, and I, I guess even getting back into living, then you've got to deal with the mental demons, I guess, as well, for a fair part of that next part as you rebuild your life. Yeah, I, I'm pretty lucky. I've been um, blessed with a personality that just was a zest to get on with living and, and doing something. Um, you know, I guess it was a time where I could have really fallen in a hole and, and not wanted to get on with life. But I found um, a new passion in pistol shooting and I've gone on to represent Australia with that. And, you know, it gives me a reason for living and, and a motivation to get on. So I'm enjoying that. Well, since you bought the pistol shooting up, you've got high hopes of maybe getting to Rio for the Para Olympics, I understand? I, I have actually, since my fall, been shooting for quite some time. And, and Rio is definitely on the cards. Unfortunately, in my race fall, I've actually injured, injured shoulders. And I have an ongoing um, problem where they get to a certain point where they're too sore to train and I have to back off. I'd actually made the training squad for Beijing Paralympics and um, represented Australia uh, at World Championships in Switzerland um, and then went on to represent Australia in Malaysia with another big competition. Unfortunately the problems in my shoulders became too great and I had to step back again whereas I'd taken some time off and have now gotten back to a stage where I'm, I'm at a level where I'm happy to, to push on for Rio. Um, just recently I, I won um, Australian champion or the national championship so number one in Australia and I'd like to make that number one in the world so just keep Keep training and keep hoping to press onwards with it. Oh, we look forward to following your path in the next couple of years and hopefully see you get to Rio. Um, what about the big day coming up Saturday week on October 4 at Morfordville? What can you tell us about um, the day we've got planned at Morfordville? Well, it's a, it's a luncheon where um, we're getting all the people to come together within the racing industry. It's a celebration of, of not just um, riders that are riding now, but it's of the injured jockeys of the past and, and those who have sadly been uh, killed in race falls. And it's just giving recognition to our industry of, of what jockeys actually have to go through in their you know everyday life of living with having to ride. You know, it's a dangerous sport. Um, and it's it's the one day that we have in the year that we can actually be remembered. Um, you know, I, I found that once I had my race fall, one thing I really noticed was um, the phone used to ring all the time. You know, they're ringing you for your race rides or scalling horses or, you know, going through the barriers and that kind of thing. And when you're not needed to do that anymore, the phone stops ringing. So um, there's this huge gap in your life where, but now we have this one day where we're raising money for people that, you know, if they, they need to have the funds that's available to them. But it's also recognising what we go through and what we put into the industry and what we get back from it. So it's a great day. Really realistically priced as well at just $65. Uh, in the Tapestry Pavilion, Rob Popplestone will be the MC. I'm sure it will be a day where there'll be a lot of laughs and a lot of fun. Um, just some advertising over your left shoulder there for the National Jockeys Trust. I understand you designed that as well with your partner, Jason. Yes, we did. Chooks Custom Graphics, it's my partner's business. He actually did all the designing with um, some help with Claire and what we needed to, Claire Lindock, what we needed to have on the sign. So we're really proud of that and we're really proud that we can actually be a part and can, can contribute to the day as well. Claire made sure she got herself on there with uh, Rebel Raider coming back after winning the Victorian Derby. See, yeah, no, to be fair, we actually snuck that on. So we kind of thought that, you know, she does a lot of work and she deserves to be recognised as well. So, yeah, no, she didn't actually ask to be put on. We snuck that on there. Well, Michelle, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, enjoy your day. Lovely to see you here at the racetrack enjoying yourself. And I'm sure you'll have a great day on Saturday, October 4 at Morfordville as well. 
Thank you. No, I'm really enjoying my day here. It's great to see familiar faces and just being back at the track again. It's, it's really overwhelming how much, you know, you miss it and you need it to be a part of your life still. So really looking forward to next Saturday and I hope as many people can get to the track as they can. Great to catch up with Michelle Lavars there. Also, just on the South Australian Jockeys Trust, don't forget they've got a big golf day coming up at the Glenelg Golf Course on Monday, the 24th of November. It was a great success last year. There are some of the details there. So that golf day, Glenelg Golf Club for the South Australian Jockeys Trust, supporting the National Jockeys Trust, Monday, 24th of November. And finally, here is the lineup for Sunday's Gawler Cup field. Should be a great day there at Gawler on Sunday. We wish the club all the best, and we'll see you again next week for the Races TV. There's nothing like a day at the races.